What's up guys, it's Dan. So, um, one of the most requested, um, I guess, or asked questions I would get in my stream about all the rigs that are out there to use is the Wacky Rig. Um, and uh, I guess special shout out to Hemi for helping me kind of get my bearings on this and being able to catch more fish um, with the Wacky Rig. So, I'll kind of start and throw a few casts and give you guys an idea on what I'm doing before I go into the setup and kind of show you um, what I've been using. But um, with the Wacky Rig, it, the key to it is essentially having ultra light gear. I've tried it on medium light. I haven't had a lot of success. I've tried it on light. I didn't have a lot of success. Um, but it seems to be the lighter the gear, the better it works. So uh, where I'm at, obviously I'm at Kuori. You probably know that. And uh, this spot has done... I mean, I've caught a lot of little fish in the last couple days, so I figured I'd try it and show you guys. But essentially, all I'm doing is, you can see I'm letting the bait fall almost all the way to the bottom, and then I'm cranking three turns. Um, I have a pretty high um, gear ratio reel that I'm using, and I'm looking for the bait as it starts to fall, then I'll bring it back up, and then I'll just keep repeating that. So... I've had some luck with getting the jig step, but it really, to me, honestly, it doesn't seem to matter too much. I seem to get bit whether I have jig step or not, and, and seem to get bit pretty consistently, um, as long as the fish are here. Um, you kind of see when I first let it hit the water, I'm letting it sink, and then almost counting to three or four, reel three times. Let it sink back down again. Let it reel three times. Let it sink back down again. And I'm looking for it usually to be hit on the way down. Um, I've had it get bit, you know, it, as soon as it hits the water type deal. Um, so one of the things I would recommend, there's a little perch, is as you're casting, as soon as you cast and you hit the water, flick your drag over. That way if you get bit on the way down, and that fish picks the bait up, then you don't have to worry about um, the fish getting away because that will happen if um, it picks it up and you don't have your drag closed. So what I'm using is a five gram weighted hook. I am using um, a one and a half gram. This is, I think it's called a nasty worm. And I'll show you guys all this in the setup. Um, and I'm using uh, an ultralight rod, uh, casting reel, low profile casting reel, this is the ice bolt, and I've I've tried it on a lot of other setups, um, from the regular steelhead setup that I have with a Model One, to the Inspiration spinning reel, to uh, a medium light bonus XP rod, and none of them I could really get to work that well. So what I found is I was working it far too slow. It seemed, at least for Kuori. And I wasn't getting bit. Uh, I've heard people say, you know, do this kind of thing. And, you know, kind of let it sink to the bottom and then do this again. I I don't think that's a mechanic in the game, truthfully. There may be an exploit or a bug or something to get fish to bite that way. But I can't see how that would work. Um, at least consistently. So what I found that works to Beth is Hemi's method where you're using between a 25 to a 35 reel speed. You're letting the bait sink, um, and as it sinks to the bottom, I'm typically counting between three and five. Then I'm cranking three turns, letting it sink again. Cranking three turns, letting it sink again. Now in Kawori, it seems you're mostly getting bit as you get closer to the boat. Um, but in some of the other lakes, it seems it doesn't matter as much where, where you'll get bit farther out. But on this, maybe it's because the water's clear. Oh, there's a fish. There we go. About to take it. Um, but again, we're getting bit right at the boat again. So it does seem to be that you do get bit more often near the boat. So um, we'll do one more cast, and I'll kind of show you uh, my setup, and we'll go through that and give you an idea of what I'm using and uh, some other suggestions and ideas I have for you guys. Uh, but this <coughs> is a method that I really struggled with. Despite advice from a lot of different people um, coming in saying, you know, wacky rig works, it works, you know, you're just doing it wrong. I don't know that any of them knew any better if it worked or not. 
it seems that there are so many variables in the game sometimes that people say that certain methods work and maybe this is an example of one of them. Even making this video I struggled whether I should be doing it or not because it doesn't seem to be that I'm getting any particular method but it's working. So um, here we go. Let's go to the setup and uh, I'm going to show you guys what I'm using. So I am using the Heaven Creek Cardina casting rod. It's an ultra light six foot eight. And I have on it an ice bolt. I went with an ice bolt because it has a higher um, gear ratio. So the gear ratio is 7.3. Some of the low profiles are 6.4, some are 7.1. I wanted one with a higher gear ratio. That's why I decided on the ice bolt. I don't know that the real the, um, the gear ratio makes that big of a difference, but that was why I chose what I did, just so you guys know. Um, as we look at the rod, you can see here 5 gram test is as heavy as you really should throw with it. And I'm throwing 5 gram weighted hook and a 1.5 gram nasty worm, um, which is essentially, I guess, the wacky worm uh, that the game has. So uh, you do see orange in there. I don't believe that causes a ton of additional damage, um, but I'm sure it does contribute to additional damage to the gear the wear and tear, your rod, your reel, etc. Um, I'm using a 15 pound ultra braid. Originally I was using a 5.5 kilogram fluorocarbon. The reason I went away from that, it's only available in 100 meter spools um, to fit on my reel. So I, you can get it in 300 meters, but you're only fitting 96 meters on here anyway. What I was running into was even if I was getting hooked more, which I do think I was getting more bites with fluorocarbon, um, I, if a big fish was biting and then running with it, I couldn't stop it. Even if I was on a boat, I, I couldn't catch up in time when I was getting bigger fish that were biting it. So, um, so anyway, that's, that's the setup that I'm using. I'll show you guys some of the, the worms I've had more success with, um, versus the others. So the one I'm using now on Kuori, I, I've gotten the most bites on recently. Now, right, wrong, or different, who the hell knows? There's Again, there's so many variables. I, I don't want to say that it's a be-all, end-all with getting bites on certain colors. But um, the brown one that I have on, the, on there now is pretty good. This green one worked really well. Um, it's another one I got a lot of bites on. Um, the Stinky Sticks, Hemi says he thinks work better. I don't for me. It, it, maybe it's just, you know, another variable, or maybe it's, it's luck or whatever, but... Um, the stinky sticks he says he prefers, um, but the green one and the, and the brown one have been the ones I've gotten the most bites on. I've already replaced a green one once as this same thing. Um, that's what I was using primarily to switch to brown, but white also works. This one, um, has produced quite a few fish for me. Again, that's the second one I've gone through. So hopefully that helps you guys and gives you an idea again, when you're, Throwing this out there, it's going to be really light tackle in, in order to get it out, especially on ultralight. So you're going to be throwing a 5 gram or maybe a 3 gram weight. And then um, well, there's an example of the bait getting picked up on the way down, like I was telling you guys. Um, a 3 gram weight, a 2 gram, two gram worm. And uh, what you're looking to do is you cast it out. Is just how I did there. Click over as soon as it hits the water. Let it fall. I'm on, a, I'm on a 30 retrieval speed here. I'm cranking three turns, and you may have to adjust accordingly. Letting it fall. Cranking it three turns. Let it fall. It's almost like a jig step without it hitting the bottom. Cranking three turns. Let it fall. And I'm just really repeating that until I get to the boat. Um, and a lot of my strikes do come really close to the boat. So just keep that in mind um, if you are working Kaori. Some of the other lakes, it's not nearly as bad as what Kaori is here. But either way, that's pretty much it. That I wanted to kind of keep it under 10 minutes. So I, hopefully that helps you guys. I have seemed to catch quite a few fish on it in the last couple days. I'm trying to use that to level up my, um, my spin fishing. So... As soon as we get this one in, I'll show you all what this one is. It's probably a little lake trout. And uh, we'll get you out of here. Oh. Thanks, guys, for watching. Thanks for all the support. If you have some more rigs you want to see used 
and I've got them unlocked and can help you with them, throw them in the comments and I'll see if I can uh, make another video to show you how to use them. And uh, um, upcoming in hopefully a few more days, Crossy and I are going to do a video about all the new updates that have come out. So thanks guys for watching. Thanks for all the support. Um, I'll see you next time.